Monitor your off-grid inverter via web link. Remote monitoring of your off-grid inverter is typically facilitated through a mobile app. Various product manufacturers adopt different methods for monitoring, however. For many off-grid and hybrid inverters manufactured in China, they are compatible with an app called Smart ESS or Smart Client. In this video, we will demonstrate how to monitor your off-grid inverter through a website and make necessary parameter changes via the website. This functionality is made possible if your inverter supports the Smart ESS application. Note, Smart Client might also work, though it hasn't been tested yet. Which Wi-Fi remote monitoring dongles support Smart ESS app? Identifying the Wi-Fi dongles that support the Smart ESS application can be relatively straightforward, as they often share a similar shape. Here's a list of some known Wi-Fi dongles that are compatible with Smart ESS. MSW09, Wi-Fi, HF. Tom were often call this as Wi-Fi HF, but most other brands use the name MSW09. Wi-Fi Plug Pro, Wi-Fi Plug Pro 3, Wi-Fi Plug Pro 5, Wi-Fi Plug Pro 58, Wi-Fi Plug PR01 for 11. Please note that the compatibility and availability of these dongles it vary depending on your specific inverter model and region. It's always a good practice to consult your inverter's documentation or the manufacturer's website for the most up-to-date information on compatible Wi-Fi dongles. Additionally, we've included a link in the video description where you can find more adapter models compatible with the desk monitor. Most known inverters that support the Smart ESS app includes the following brands. SRNE PAMR SACO Summary Felicity Solar Sun Power Inverters eSun Cenovo If you own an inverter that falls under the list of compatible models which we listed out or if your inverter use the Smart ESS app for remote monitoring, then this video is for you. Now, let's check out the website and explore the available features along the way. We'll discuss how you can effortlessly make parameter changes using the website. One of the standout features of this website is that you won't need to create new logins or configure anything separately. The login credentials generated during the Smart ESS app registration seamlessly work on dssmonitor.com. What's even more convenient is that the website will display all your power generators, allowing you to select and monitor each one individually. This feature is useful only if you have more than one inverter. So this is the main screen that you receive when you access dssmonitor.com. I have tested this site on Chrome and Edge. The loading speed and functionality was great on both. Therefore, I assume it will be compatible with most other browsers. Feel free to test it out and leave us a comment. As mentioned before, use your Smart ESS app login to access this website. Once the login credentials are entered, the website will prompt you to complete a small puzzle. Drag the arrow until the missing part in the puzzle is filled. Once you access the Desk Monitor site, you can access the account settings from the top right-hand corner, where it shows all your account-related information. Also, you can add an avatar from here. Since we have now accessed the Desk Monitor web using our credentials, let's check out what information is visible for us. This is how my main screen looks. I've customized it to show me the most important information. Currently, you're on Energy Flow section. Just to give you all a brief idea, I have shared a few screenshots of the main tabs. Device Info Now we have come to the chart section, and it's interesting as it includes data logs about real-time power, current month electricity, current year electricity, and total electricity. Also, there is a section that lets us select the date, month, or year to get historical data. Next stop is the Analysis section. Here we can select the required fields and conduct the analysis.
However, there are some limitations, for example, you cannot select options with more than two different units, and the maximum parameters that can be selected is four. Next is the details section, and the information displayed here is pretty straightforward. Alarm info is a section where we need to keep an eye regularly as it shows all system abnormalities. For example, there was a battery low alarm in my system, and by going into details, it shows all the details about the incident. By going through all the main sections, we now have a clear idea about viewing the information. So, let's see how we can change the parameters using Desk Monitor. To make changes to the inverter parameters, you need to go to the Control section. And there will be a new window that shows all sorts of information that can be changed. But please note, all inverters don't support changing all the given parameters. For example, system time is not supported on my Palmer inverter model. I've tried with many Palmer models, and this feature isn't supported on any of them. Making changes from here is pretty straightforward. I don't want to mess with my settings, so I will show something simple just to give you all an idea. First, if you don't know the current settings, you can click on the Read button, and Desk Monitor will quickly display the current settings of your inverter. As shown in the video, you can use the drop-down menu to select the new value that you need to update. Once the value is selected, click on the Send button, and the information will update within no time. I'm not making any changes on my inverter as I don't need to at this moment, but I will show something simple just to give you the idea. Okay, here's one we can change, LED backlight. First, I will click read and check the current settings. Then, as you see, I will change it to enable and click on the send button so it will be updated. As soon as the setting is updated, you will see a pop-up message that says send command successful. Let me quickly revert back the settings. So I suppose this video covered everything you need to know about Desk Monitor website and its usage. I hope it's a handy tool for you to keep in touch with your inverter while you are away. Especially for me, it comes in handy while I am in the office, as I don't need to take my eyes off the laptop to check the mobile for the Smart TSS app. That's it for today. Until we meet again with another video, clean your off-grid inverter filters, do regular maintenance, keep stuff clean, do regular checks on battery connectors, stay connected and stay charged. Thanks for watching. If the video was interesting or added some value, please like us and subscribe.